He's the perfect boyfriend. I like to cook, you know, and I go to the store. So what's missing? Sex. You like it once a week. I like it every day. So change of heart found her a guy. Why would anybody want to be with him when they can be with me? To deliver the goods. Swing. And we found a woman. If the hydrogen peroxide doesn't seep into her pores, she's all right. To wake up this lazy lover. Then I said, if you want to, you can follow me to the bedroom, and that's where we went. Now that they've each had blind dates, will they have a change of heart? What? Change of Heart, I'm Chris Jagger. Now, this is the show where couples go on blind dates with other people to see if what they really need in their relationship is someone new. Now, we're gonna meet their dates later, but first, let's meet our couple. Now, he's a former Marine, and eight months ago, she recruited him. They've been on maneuvers together ever since. Please welcome Rob Mazio and Francesca Prantil. Welcome to the show. Now, the two of you are here today because not everything in your relationship is in formation, so to speak, in marine talk kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> now, Francesca, we're going to start with you. Tell us what special things Rob does for you. Well, he's uh, very caring. Sometimes I'll have a headache and he'll, like, massage my head and make my headache away. And, like, and I like that. That makes me feel good about that's myself. That's good. Yeah. All right, Rob, how does Francesca stand out from other women you've dated? Well, she's so silly. She's like Jim Carrey with breasts, you know? Whatever. When I, when I, <laughs> Whenever I'm down, you know, I can always count on her to make me laugh. Well, that's good to know. Jim Carrey with, yeah. Uh, Francesca, so <laughs> what do you feel is missing from the relationship since you're here today? Um, well, sex, definitely. Oh. Okay, you got a pulse there, buddy? Uh, okay. What do you mean, sex? Well, he, you know, I like it like every day, like most women. Well, yeah. you know. You know, I've been stressed out a no, little bit. No, no, wait, I've I didn't get to finish, out. okay? No. You know, forget your stress, honey. <laughs> you like it once a week, I like it every day. <laughs> I've been stressed out looking for a job, you know, trying to get my life together, and I just haven't been in the mood. I get home from work at 3 in the morning, and I just want to go to bed. He's a little distracted, I guess. I'm distracted. All right, Rob, your wait, turn. I'm not enough of a distraction for him? I guess there's other things in the way there. I guess. Rob, what would you say is missing from your relationship with Francesca? Earplugs. She never shuts oh. up. I can't, I can't, I can never get a word in Edgewise. I can never get a, a word in edgewise, you know, because she'll, she'll, she talks so much, she calls my work looking for me, and my coworkers complain that she was on the phone with them for 45 minutes just talking and talking and talking. Now, Francesca, describe your relationship with Rob. It's good. It's good. We have a good relationship. It just hurts. I mean, it's all give and no take to me, how I per interpret it. It's like he takes what I give him and he doesn't give back. Like, he doesn't want to reciprocate. Oh. Well, I... I, I cook, you know, and I go to the store and I do anything when I, I can ask you, try, you When know? I ask you, I don't, but, you don't do it on your own. You don't show initiative to do it on your own. I go, honey, can you cook? And that means I, I have to go to the store. I appreciate cooking all the time. My dad was a chef and you love the meals I cook and you're always asking me to cook these wonderful meals for you. Yeah, but like... Right, Rob, I, let me ask you this though, because she's saying it's all give and no take. Is there something you'd really like to give Francesca? I'd like to give her a little advice on her. On, I'd like to train her a little bit because she feels that she's... Train her? Yeah, physically. Yeah. I'd like to train her physically. With because like a leash or something? Like working out? <laughs> no, you training? Like yeah, working out. Why is that? Because she feels like she's not, uh, not up to where she wants to be, and I'd like to help her get to where she wants to be. You yeah, know? so and why didn't you like say, hey, what are you doing Monday, and let's go to the gym? Well, whenever I give you advice, you seem to ignore it when we're at the gym. Oh. All right, uh, Francesca, let's talk about when you guys go out on dates and not to the gym. What are they, what's that like? Um, it's usually just once or twice a month. I mean, we just go to the movies or something, but usually he'll go by himself alone, never ask me three or four times a week. Well, and it's no offense to you that I go out alone, you know? It's yeah, like... but I've heard my friends say that they've seen you with other women, well, like, like, hanging on you. Oh, Rob, busted. Let's go out there. And of course, you don't drinks. tell me that. I have to hear it from my friends, which is, like, I, totally I like to go out up. alone and have a couple drinks, you know, and check out the scene, and if a girl's going to come up and talk to me, I'm not going to, like tell him to go away, you know, I'm going to be nice and talk to him. That's how we met. Now, Francesca, you said you feel some things are amiss here, so tell us why you thought this was a good time now to go on separate dates with someone else. Because I feel like, you know, I want to go out with somebody who'll be, like, more financially secure and who'll make me feel sexy like I should. I should feel, you know, like a woman, and I don't when I go out with him. I feel like I'm just, like, hanging out with him like a friend, and I want to feel like a woman, you know, like, yeah. I'm him. It's a woman. Okay. Well, we'll see if that happened on your date. Now, obviously, it seems that Rob and Francesca have some real concerns. When we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out if they're going to end up staying together or have a change of heart, so don't go away. All right, welcome back to Change of Heart. We're
are here with Rob and Francesca, who are trying to smooth over some rough spots in their relationship. Rob says Francesca is hard to hang out with and thinks that she needs to exercise her body more than she exercises her tongue. Oh. So we matched him up with a demure workout queen who's a real good time girl. Please welcome Amanda Wickless. <laughs> Amanda, what was the first thing that Rob told you about himself? Well, Rob told me the first thing about himself was that he had 3% body fat, so I knew right away he had a great body, so I couldn't wait to meet him. 3%? That's pretty good. Now, were you able to check out his body up close and personal, Amanda? Yes, I was. When, um, when we met, I went up and gave him a hug, and that's when I got to feel his shoulders and all that, so... Uh, Amanda, uh, Rob has offered Francesca workout advice that she ignores, though. Did he offer any to you, or does he think you're okay? Yeah, we were watching TV, and I commented on this girl's ass, and she had a nice ass on TV. And I was like, he's like, I know a good exercise for that. So he showed me this lunge, and I've been doing it ever since the date. Uh-huh. And Rob, did you notice any improvement when she came out? <laughs> oh, yeah, her booty looks good. Amanda, he helped you with some physical advice on your backside there. Did he offer any advice about anything else? Well, when um, I was telling him about this crank I have in my back, and he offered me a massage, and he totally got it out. It was unbelievable. Worked back. <laughs> did he, like, get you naked, or did he use oil? I mean, how was the massage? No, it was just a, a friendly massage, and it was, you know. You didn't tell me whether he took clothes off. Did you have clothes off, or were you, like, so close? No, it was in my house. It was in my house, and I was sitting on the floor, and he rubbed my back, and that was it. Fully clothed, clothes watching TV. It was just a friendly thing. Okay, so gentlemen. he was rubbing on your back. Just your and, back, uh, though, right? Uh, Not like anything else. Just my back. Yeah, pretty innocent just stuff, Francesca, at this point. Totally now, innocent. He's very sweet. Amanda, when you hugged him, you said you felt his shoulders. As the mm -hmm. date progressed, did you feel anything else about Rob? Well, when he was changing his shirt. <laughs> when he was changing his shirt, um, I he was taking off his shirt, and I told him I, I stopped him, and I told him to come over to me, and that's when I got to feel his chest and his shoulders, because I stopped. I stopped buttoning his shirt and that's when I got to feel his lats and his chest and all that. Now, so. Francesca, do you think this is a little too much touching going on here for a first date initially? Well, no. I mean, Rob's very friendly, like he said, so it doesn't surprise me the slightest. <laughs> I was actually, he was actually kind of shy about coming over. I was like, come here. <laughs> so I just see what's up. So. I do have a question for Rob, though. Why is it you were changing your shirt in the first place? Well, we were going to go out for our little hot date out to the club, you know, and so I changed over, we went out to the club, we had a great time, we uh, got VIP treatment because she knows everybody there, we got in, <laughs> got in for free, we got free drinks, we got full access to the club, and she actually got me out on the stage dancing a little bit, <laughs> and I danced, and she used to dance as a go-go dancer in the club, you know, and... Uh, oh, really? So yeah. she, she can work, and we had a great time. Yeah. I mean, you dance with her, but you know, dance with me. Yeah, Francesca, when's the last time you guys went out dancing? <laughs> we don't. Rob committed, he confided in me that he doesn't know how to dance, but he can dance with her when he doesn't even know. I never said know I didn't know how to yeah, dance. Yeah, you did. It's just that I don't like yeah, to dance. Yeah, you did. No, yeah, you did. You no. said you don't no, know how to he, dance he and dance you don't want to dance. Amanda, you heard uh, Francesca say earlier that Rob was all take and no give. Did you feel the same way about Rob? Not at all, because um, after we left the club, we went to an after party, and that lasted till like six in the morning. So we came home and we were starving, so we ordered some dinner, and um, I told him to give me money and he handed it right over. So No problem there at all. No problem. <laughs> Oh, I've, not, I've, I've never had that. I've never had that kind of treatment with Rob. Yeah. Rob's never taken me out like or that. Or dinner at 6 a.m. I mean, or an all-nighter for that matter. Rob, I have actually invited him to come out with me, and I go out all night alone with my friends because I have friends that do that. And Rob has declined graciously every single time I've invited him. It's been more than once. Unlike Rob, who doesn't I like to invite go out alone. me. The point oh, is, is that here's a total stranger you go out with, have a great time till 6 o'clock in the morning, go dinner, did it all, and we haven't done this once, and we've known each other for a very long time. Rob, question to you. <laughs> Rob, anything you think like about Amanda? The only thing is that she might be a little bit too popular. Right? We were sitting at, at, at the house, you know, and she had like oh, ten, no. ten different guys call the house and she was chatting away with but them, that, you know? No, but that, I told you what that was. It was just, I, I guess everybody felt that he was there. That never happens. That's, the phone was ringing off the hook. It just ridiculous. happened to be one of those nights. It just, it just happened. I told you that. It was, <laughs> uh, Amanda, told you. Rob uh, and Francesca were talking about their romance. Now, mm -hmm. Francesca says that she has to ask Rob to be intimate with her. What's your spin on that? 
Well, I don't think I'd have to ask him to be intimate with me because after we finished dinner, he was laying on my couch and he asked me to come cuddle with him and we fell asleep like that. Oh. Now, Amanda, was that a little uncomfortable, though? You fall asleep on the couch? It was a little uncomfortable. I woke up and I couldn't move my neck, so I said basically to heck with this couch and I said, if you want to, you can follow me to the bedroom and that's where we went. Okay. Wait a minute, they went to the bedroom? We uh, want to elaborate on that, sleep. To sleep. To Just sleep. a little nap. To sleep. I swear to God, to sleep. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You didn't have we anything were, more than sleep? That we went was to bed. sleep. I had we my went shoes on. Sleep. I had all my clothes on. Fully clothed. Still so looking me in the eye. Still this guy's a good-looking guy. You were out with him all I'm night. You were having a good time. I'm not that kind of person. I maybe you think I am, but I'm not. Francesca, Francesca, he never took his shoes off. You have to trust a guy who doesn't take his shoes off. Maybe have sex with their shoes on. You know, his shirt maybe, but not his shoes. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You can think what you want, but that's not what it happened. It doesn't matter. It's whether he's going to lie to me in my face or well, not. Why don't I mean, you did just you have believe him? Or not? No. No, Why don't you just but she believe doesn't him? believe it. Okay, we need to move don't. on. Okay, he said, no, you have to trust him. Somewhere along uh, the line, you have apparently. to trust somebody. Now, was exactly. cuddling him with Amanda enough to give Rob a change of heart? We don't know, but we're going to find out later. And next, we're going to meet the man that Francesca dated, and we'll hear what happened on their date, so stay with us. <laughs> Now, we just heard what happened on Rob's date with Amanda, and now we're going to meet the man that Francesca dated. Francesca thinks Rob's a loner, a loafer, and a stingy lover. So we sent her out with a gregarious guy who rates himself one of the world's best lovers. Please welcome Doug Mitchell. Casanova to you? Well, uh, why would anybody want to be with him when they can be with me? Doug, let me ask you this. Yes, uh, earlier, Rob was talking about Amanda's backside. What about Francesca's? Oh, man, I'll tell you what. She turned around and... <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, man. She turned around and her skirt was real tight. She was wearing a thong. <laughs> With me, you always wear those dang grandma <laughs> panties that your mom has. Looking well, good. Don't, don't forget, Rob, we also don't go out, so why would I wear a thong? Oh. oh. Francesca, I'm only good enough for the grandma panties. Yeah, Francesca, well, let me ask you about me Doug's wardrobe. Is there anything you remember about the way Doug was dressed? Yeah, he had, um, it was so funny. We met, and then he told me right away, like within a few minutes, that he had these really tight pants on. And so I'm like, well, let's get some nice pants for you, you know? And we couldn't because the stores were closed. Wait, the pants were so tight you had to go shopping for pants? No, yeah. they, they weren't like... were real close together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> were you wearing your little brother's <laughs> pants or something? Oh, All right, yeah. Francesca, I hope you did more than just go shopping then for pants on your date. Oh, yeah. I said, we're going to have a romantic evening. I'm going to show them all the romantic spots in San Diego. And we went to the oyster bar and uh, we ordered some oysters. And we sat at this really co cozy couch. And I like pretty much sat like right on top of him. And like, I kind of started rubbing his leg, you know? And hey, like, how high did you rub up on his leg? Just like right here, you know, it wasn't that high. It was just kind of like a friendly yeah. rub. Just, and, and remember, then, those pants were pretty tight. Right, right. And so then he's like, you know what oysters do to me, don't you? And I'm just like, no. And he's just all, swing. And I'm just all, I'm all rare, because I like that. You know, I like a man who can express himself like that. Now, Doug, is that true that oysters act in that manner as an aphrodisiac? Uh, absolutely, yes. Actually, uh, after the oysters came, uh, Francesca got real uh, aggressive, if you know what I mean. Uh, I didn't get aggressive. Yeah, just friendly. Friends. You know, it was, uh, it was nice, different. though. Rob, have you ever friendly. witnessed this, an oyster attack of this sort? No, I've never witnessed an oyster attack, but uh, she has known to be quite aggressive. If she <laughs> well, I know what I like something. in a man. I like a man to act like a man. All right, and Francesca? <laughs> Francesca, after the oysters, then, tell us what you saw. <laughs> what did I see? Uh, saw, she saw swing. <laughs> no, no, no swing. No swing, no swing. No, no swing. We, we were, like, talking about our scars. Like, you know, Mel Gibson and Rene Rousseau and Luther Three, remember sure. that? We were like doing the exchange story. Like, he told me about this scar he had on, um, he got from a um, golf club. A golf club a, to the head. Yeah, he was like, had this really fight. He's like, I fight, you know? And I'm like, well, I got some scars too. I like ride a motorcycle, I have a skateboard accident. And I had like two scars from the skateboard accident recently, and I had one like all the way up. Like near my ass, so I like pull my skirt up. I'm like, there it is. What are you hiking up your skirt for in the middle of a restaurant? I like it. Jeez. I like it. Well, Doug, let me ask you this. Actually. Sure. Uh, since you got a good view of the scar back there, do you still think she needs to work out back there more? Like Rob said. No, absolutely not, man. Uh, I'll tell you, she's she's real fit. 
we actually went to this club. We were dancing, and uh, she pretty much danced me to the ground, you know, doing a little dirty dancing and what have you. It was and, dirty. Uh, Sexy, though. I tell you, I was sweating like crazy. She actually, she had to take my shirt off in the club. I was dying. Yeah, I ripped his. I took his shirt off because I wanted to see like what he looked like. You know, like his chest and stuff. Cause I like chest too. And Francesca, like how, how intense and how dirty did the dancing get? It got dirty. He like like caressed like my breast at one time, like really Dang, quickly. Dang, what are you just, doing, calling my girl? Uh, yeah. No, it was actually just. It was you really, know, it was, was really gentleman like. Just the dancing. Uh, it was gentleman. Like, it's gentleman like. Your <laughs> no, it was no fondling. Gentleman? It was kind of like just a. a it was a brief moment, and I kind of liked it because I was like, yeah, I'm a woman. I feel sexy. This is a man that makes me feel like a, man, a woman. Uh, Doug, after all that dancing, you said she wore you into the ground. Were you tired at that point? Yeah, man, I was beat. I was yeah. beat. Actually, yeah. uh, we went down to the beach afterwards. It was a pretty cool view, and I was real tight. You know, she gave me a really good massage. Uh, oh, she actually yeah. could. She yeah, could massage. Clothes on, yeah. and I'll tell you, she could be a professional okay. masseuse. This one over here. Did she rock you? Pants, right? pants on. Pants on. That's wrong. We just went to the beach. It was beautiful. Like at the cove in La Jolla, it's beautiful. It was night. It was like really late night. We just stayed there for about three hours. Talked. And he, I could tell from what he was saying about his life that he was having a lot hard time speaking. So I'm like, you know, I touched his shoulders and he was just like a wreck. I mean, he was <laughs> totally tense. And so I started to massage him and I could tell that the listening, having him like therapeutically tell him and like massage him, he just relaxed. Very nice. nice. Now, yeah. Doug, Rob said that uh, sometimes the gift of gab gets in the way between Rob and his, his girlfriend here. Did you find the same problem with Francesca? Nah, I mean, she can talk, but uh, she, she, she's got a lot to talk about, you know? I mean, I look at it this way, man. If you're not gonna respect a woman, you're not gonna treat her like she should be treated, you don't deserve one. Yeah. Okay. Jessica, how did the night end? Did it end with some romance? A little bit. I mean, he pecked me kind of softly and I like kissed him back hard, like to tell him no, that, you know, if you can kiss a woman, you can kiss a woman. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. But, like, I was like, you know, you're really tired. Do you want to stay and like sleep? Because he drove down to San Diego and, you know, he was like, no, you know, I should just get back on the road and go. And he left. Uh, and Doug, why did you so bail out you at that point? So kiss him so hard for? Because uh, I wanted him to know it, huh? that what he's not having, <laughs> what he's not having is he should be bummed. I kiss basically. you hard all, anytime. <laughs> all right. Now, Doug, that's yeah. a long ride back anytime, down to San Diego. Kissing, why yeah. did you, uh, well, you bail out? Why did I bail often? out? I'll tell you why. Because uh, I look at it this way. Went upstairs. If we went upstairs, there'd be a little bit of trouble. And I'm a true gentleman. I figure, you know what? Take off right home. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, get but even if you're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. Right. Well, they both had really incredible dates, but will Rob and Francesca have a change of heart or will they end up staying together? We're going to find out during the break because they're going to make their decisions and we'll find out what they decided when we come right back, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Change of Heart. Here we are at the moment of truth because during the break, Rob and Francesca each made their final decision about the future of their relationship and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together? or have they had a change of heart? Francesca, you know, you said you came on the show because you wanted to date somebody that would make you feel like a woman and the goddess that you are, and not just treat you just like a buddy or a friend or anything like that. Now, we sent you out with a guy, Doug, who was much more generous, maybe that was more physically into relationships than you had with Rob, also more self-supporting, and somebody that was more willing to give than just take all the time. Now, he, you had a good time when you went out. You guys got busy on the dance floor. You got to do a lot of good things. You kissed at the end of the date. He was a gentleman. You do have some time commitment with Rob, you know, some relationship going on, but it's decision time. What do you say? Well, I had a really good time with Doug, and I really like, loved the date, but all the time I was thinking about Rob and how I wish that Rob would be taking me out like that. You know, and I really want that. I want That's that with good. Rob, so I still want to be with Rob. Yeah. Hey. Stay together. Oh, All right, Rob. Now, you said you wanted to date somebody that might be a little bit more fun. Maybe they didn't talk so much and let you talk and involve themselves in the conversation. And somebody that would take your workout advice because you friend said uh, Francesca blew you off in that area. Uh, you had a great date with Amanda. You guys had a really good time. You had a really like all-nighter kind of thing that went on and you cuddled and you slept on the couch together. Now, Francesca says she wants to stay together and work things out, so the decision is yours at this point. Rob, what do you say? Well, uh, me and you had a wonderful time. Yes, we had yeah. a great date together, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, we've been together for a long time. We have a lot of time together, you know, but you did some things on the date that I think are questionable, and uh, I've had a change of heart. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. 
Now, Francesca, you said you wanted to come on here and find a guy that was going to treat you a lot better. Obviously, you're not getting that from Rob. No, so, I'm not. in the long run, it's probably a better thing, and I'm sure there's somebody out there better oh, for you. There's definitely someone out there better looking than Rob and treat me better than Rob. There so, you go, I'm Francesca. Not I'm not worried. Okay, good luck. That's our show for today. Thanks to Francesca and Doug. Good luck to Rob and Amanda starting their new relationship. I'm Chris Jagger. We'll see you next time here on Change of Heart. Yeah.